Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to work on this beautiful card using the sweet little stockings, both the stamp and dies from Stampin' Up. Um, I am showing here the, uh, the sweet little stockings case and I am sorry that my light is reflecting. As I have mentioned, I'm trying to improve my gadgets. Um, this is one of them. I will be using the dog, the cat, and the hamster. And I'll be using an A, um, A2 card, so <clears throat> four, four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half card. Uh, and then I'm just using uh, something to mat and cut the circles. And I just use the stacking dies for that, uh, cir stacking circle dies for that attach them to some paper and send them to um, the cutting machine. Now here I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. If I'm going to just cut the same circles or if I want to kind of ink blend those circles and work with them. I'm just not really decided yet uh, what's going to happen. <clears throat> I am for sure going to use those two papers I showed um, and they belong to the gingerbread and peppermint uh, design collection series who I'm just showing here double-sided they are just gorgeous to work with at some point I thought I was going to use this um, but afterwards you'll see I used another of uh, the papers in to just fill out that white uh, there I am going to stamp my images now and I'm going to be using um, Memento Tuxedo ink. Oh, one quick tip. I buy these A, uh, it's A7, so um, in Amazon they're just the magnet ones and they fit perfectly in the, the case. So um, I will uh, link that down below if you want to get your dies safe and sound. Um, in your case. Now I am working in within my Misty just to go into ink, ink my my stamps um, and here we are stamping them. I do give them a good pass with that dry eraser which works wonderful to get a nice impression. Uh, that way you don't have to um, hurt your hands in the process. Just removing all my uh, stamps and putting them in my uh, chamois. Now I am here trying to figure out where to put the uh, little red cap. Well, it's going to be red. Uh, and it's just funny how I just kept forgetting that it has a little bit of ink in it. And so I <clears throat> don't make my mistake. Just move the paper instead of trying to move the ink, <laughs> the stamp, right? Um, which I realized later I could do. And here goes, hey magic, um, getting that there uh, for <laughs> the third little um, cap for, the, for the, uh, the dog and the cat and the hamster. And I think it's just going to look so beautiful. After this, we're just going to head on coloring. I'm going to be using my Copic markers. I have tons of them because I've been stamping and painting for a very long time. Um, but Stampin' Up! have beautiful blends. They are called <clears throat> Stamping Blends and um, Stamping Blend Combo Packs, I think is the right name. Um, and I'm going to link those below. But I'm, of course, just using my Copics. Now, if you have Copics already, I'm just going to uh, also list below the numbers. But uh, one of my favorite color combinations are E39 and E24 and E27. Um, and it varies. E29, E27, uh, R29, R27. Why am I saying E? I'm sorry about that. So here is... Um, that combination. I always start using the lightest of them uh, to color the whole image and then I start using the darker just to focus on the uh, areas where I need to put some depth and um, I use the 
the one in the middle to create some variation and finally um, just ink blend again I mean blend it all, all over again um, so as you can tell I am um, just doing the same for the three of them and this is a, a very slow process those of us who like painting or coloring with markers it's it's a slow um, I speed it up a little bit but still <clears throat> It's a little bit long part of the video so if you just are not interested in the in the coloring part you can also um, just go ahead and and skip it up I find it always interesting and um, to see other people coloring um, I learn a whole lot from their techniques now I'm going to start with the dog and I'm going to start with, uh, and now it is, E35 and E39. Um, and I, uh, just as I mentioned, I'm going to work with the whole, um, with the whole image first. And I was, what I was trying to do there, um, I thought at some point that that E35 was too dark. I wanted something lighter, but I did not prepared that in advance and so I, I wanted something lighter but I couldn't find it so I figured eh, just let's deal with it I used um, the E39 to create a depth and then I uh, something that I think a lot of people do or try to do to um, and it is to have uh, utilize a little bit of the darker um, marker with your lighter marker to create that in between color and you'll see me doing that here in a second um, so that helps uh, you know have like a, a nicer blend and uh, it just works wonderfully so I am just coloring um, my little dog away and uh, I think you'll see it you saw it probably before and you're gonna see it again here in a little bit um, another kind of trick when you're coloring I mean nobody's perfect there's a lot of people that are really really uh, good coloring um, in the lines I am NOT one of those I ended up kind of getting out every so often so I know it's just kind of a funny thing um, I do use my white uh, gel pen to correct some of those boo-boos um, when they happen and it just works wonderful and I did that here uh, when I finished coloring my dog you'll see me using um, the white pen a little bit to color I think I went over in his eye and um, you know of course I wanted to keep it white so it looked good I did a couple passes in the, on the dog um, same as the cat and the hamster I uh, couldn't help it I just wanted a good definition on it um, and here's what I was telling you I'm just like correcting a little bit that extra um, extra marker I put in the poor dog's eyes now for the cat I'm going to use um, the E40s and it's E44 E47 and E49 and same as before I start with the um, lighter color um, and then as I was doing this cat I realized that I wanted it to be a little bit different just not um, you know one color so I decided to leave him like a little spot in the face and I think it looks so cute in the end um, I end up using E41 and E43 for that and you'll see me here working on the blending piece right just getting all around that um, and then again with the E41 just trying to get it to blend perfectly and to look very natural now I'm going to my uh, darkest color and start working on the uh i'm just making those uh, darker pieces or places um sorry about that i kind of lost my train of thought uh and i go very slowly with this one just making sure that um 
that I'm liking what I'm doing and I'm careful not to get on that um, lighter eye spot. I am sorry about my head. It will pop up every so often. I cannot help it. It just um, happens. I, again, still trying to get the best gadgets out there um, within the budget and uh, that means a little bit of trial <laughs> and error. Uh, and so here I am just blending and working with the little cat to get the perfect uh, co color according to me anyways. And here goes my head again and I apologize for that. Um, but just working on and on getting him, uh, you know, just colored. Um, it looks, it really looks good in the end. Uh, sorry about that. Um, finally, I am p going to work on the hamster and um, the hamster, I also decided to make two colors just because we had a hamster when my daughter was little um, and we he had a lot of little spots and we called him manchitas which is like spotty in English and um, it he was just so cute and so I just thought of him when I was making that so I used um, the W's which is a little bit of a, a warm gray right and I really like this color for a lot of um, options so I use W5, uh, 3, and 1. And just in case you didn't notice, I have a super hard time pronouncing W correctly. Spanish speaking in my defense. But I'm working here in the blending just as I would do anywhere and leaving, leaving the spots for um, the darker color, the brown color I'm going to bring here in a little bit, as you will see. Um, I think in the end it looked so cute. I obviously had an initial idea and I'm working with the E41, E43 and E44. And I had a, I thought it was gonna be a little lighter in the E colors, but I think I ended up uh, pushing a little bit darker. Um, and again, I'm really sorry that it ends up, my head ends up um, getting the focus out of uh, the camera into my head and not the image. I'm sorry about that. So I am working here again towards um, now mixing and matching those colors, just just really merging everything to get it um, as blended as possible, as natural looking as possible. Um, and I had to work a little bit on it because I it was not the way I envision it, it was not working, of course, that happens to me fairly often. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I plan things and they just pop up in a different way completely. Um, so again, I just decided here to go a little darker and then um, working to get the right, the right look for this little, this little fella. Um, I just love the way he looks and in the end he looks so adorable um, so I think I'm, I'm fully done almost done with my coloring I'm just going to color that little leaf and here goes my head again I'm sorry about that coloring the leaf um, again I will uh, definitely get a different view about <laughs> for my camera um, lesson learned. So I'm done with my coloring now. Of course, it comes now comes the um, cutting them, and and I really am awful at fussy cutting. So I am one of the most uh, thankful people out there for dice. Um, and you will see here that I definitely struggle with puzzles <laughs> because I can't put them right. Um, and and of course, this is a very known technique and it's using the post-tip tape to get it uh, really hold on to the paper and so their die doesn't move. I am cut, getting them out of their dies, getting the cutouts in a little box and a little tin um, box I have right close to me there and getting that done. Once I'm done with that I'm going to cut the other two little hats um, 
and as you can tell I'm trying to to reutilize my post-it tape I, I do have a little spot there in my desk where I just save them I know that's kind of funny but I save them because you can reuse them several times and so I'm here just working on getting those two and voila we have them um, now I'm I'm just wondering now about my circles right uh, and the colors behind it so I initially thought I was going to put these color and I guess this design paper and the other design paper that one that's just behind it in on them right but I just kept like second guessing and doubting um, about it because I was not really sure that was going to work um, just putting the when you put the uh, the little dogs or the little animals right so I'm there looking at it and I'm like no nope, that just looks way too busy like I can't I can't I don't like it right so I'm like struggling struggling about it and decided not to um, and he goes again trying the same thing and definitely not working so in the end I decided that the, those two designer papers are always going to use just on the smaller circles that had no animals in it um, and uh, I'm going to die cut them now and I am cutting the circle a little bigger than the actual circle in the white stock cardstock just so I have um, so it looks full and not not just a, so I don't see the this insert inside circle I'm sorry about that um, see like it, if I put it there it would uh, you could see that it's the circle is there and that way it looks just complete to me I did um, that with both of them and then I um, finally decided to utilize um, another cardstock for it so here I have my circles and I think they look really cute uh, on their own without the animals now it's time to start planning the card so I was debating do I want to put them in the red just the red circle without any further and really that didn't didn't work for me I kept looking at it and analyzing and I just like it somehow it just didn't work for me even with the little um, cap on and whatnot I just it was just too much red I think and it just didn't please me it was not pleasing to the eye so I put all the animals trying to figure out if that was going to work and whatnot but in the end really it did not and that's when I got these um, other cardstock that is just a scrap piece of paper I have from a very old um, paper collection I have no even I don't even have a clue where it comes from but it's in the same color of greens that I'm using with the gingerbread uh, and peppermint designer paper and so that worked really well so I am going to die here to die cut here uh, three circles all the same green and um, just like the others a little bigger than the actual circle so um, it, it it gets all covered and coming back here like magic super quick um, I am struggling there a little bit to take off the, <laughs> those um, post-it tapes and as you can tell I don't have very long nails because I break them often and so um, I struggled a tiny bit with getting them it was kind of funny and so here we go now I am going to uh, start looking at them and how to organize them how to get them ready and so I am now going to attach the little hats to the critters um, and just trying to decide there if I want them a little bit to the side a little bit to the other side I think this hat was super it was a little big for a little hamster but I didn't think it was fair for him not to have um, an actual hat um, and so <laughs> there he is with his hat even if it's too big and then here comes the dog and I'm again just figure now how I want them to look like um, the dog got the sideways one and the cats straight as you will see here 
super cute it looks super super cute and then after that is ready i decided that i wanted to give it uh, those had some dimensions oh here i'm using just my marvelous magical pick uh, from stamping up that i will link to down below because i love it uh, super useful tool but you will see here that i'm using something that's called snow maker and it's um in the shape of a pen and it like lets some glue out and i am not caring if it goes over the the black lines um you'll see the same here in the little because once you heat it up it's just gonna look texturized um, so of course I have to put some glitter in it because who doesn't like glitter and I am just giving them a good glitter look and now we are going to um, get it with our um, tweezers and heat it up i am utilizing uh the heat tool from stamping up to and that will be also uh in the supply list really really nice heating tool they they have there you go did you see how beautiful it looks now i am getting this one and you'll see here i don't know if you'll be able to really see it but um the little cat was stuck already <laughs> <laughs> and he ended up being all glittery so there was glitter all over my house that day it was just so funny um i i guess you can tell who's a crafter because they have lots of glitter on it um but you can tell here how beautiful it looks once it pops up like that it gets all texture it looks like a real um like the real hats will look like right and I'm um, heat again, heating again this um, the hamster's hat and it goes there it goes popping up it just puffs up it's so beautiful I love it and once we have that ready of course I have to get rid of the glitter not only the one that's in my hand all over <laughs> one that's everywhere i was didn't debating if i wanted to put a little extra of that snowmaker um in in the cat but then decided not to um and of course here that's one of the great benefits of using um these working sheets from stamping up because then you can just get it up and put it all up there um very very easy <laughs> Of course, we still have some glitter in the paper and you can probably see little, little bits of it. Now we're going to put up our card finally. So gluing first the circles and what I am doing is just putting a little bit of circle all around, a little bit of glue, sorry about that, um, all over the circles um, and get that those set up. And I will do the same for all five circles. And just being mindful that I'm putting the right ones. And the, there goes my head again. And I am so sorry for that. I'll be mindful next time. Um, in my defense, this is the third video I make. So <laughs> I hope you guys forgive me for that. It's just, I can't help it. My big head and just getting old, not good eyes. Now I'm putting the beautiful colored ones. Um out there and or the beautiful design paper I guess is what I'm trying to say um, and there we go Ta -da! doesn't that look gorgeous so we are going to I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put that if I'm going to put it out or not but I decided to figure out out later um, so I have here my hamster and um, I was wondering if I wanted dimensionals or not, if I wanted to just stick to the uh, opening, let's call it like that. But um, I decided the dimensionals was the way to go. So here I am just putting a couple of them for each one. Well, for the hamster it was just a couple of them. Um, and they, they came up, the backing came up so easily. That's one of the reasons I love dimensionals. They, it's not like you're fighting the backing to come out. Um, I have had so many others in the past that are just a complete struggle to take them off. 
um, it's just funny. So here I'm putting a little bit more of them because it's a larger image. Um, I've seen many uh, Stamping Up demonstrators using my magic picking pen that I mentioned before um, to take those off. It really works beautifully. I have to say it works really well, but you do need to practice it. Um, and I had already, of course, uh, put that in heat, heated, that's no, sorry about that, that's no maker. Uh, I had already heated it, and so I didn't want to squish it by any means. Um, for the cat, I saw that there was a couple of spots where it needed like a smaller one, so I used the small dimensionals in there. And again, just so easy to take the backing off. And there you go. Boom, that is, there is our card almost finished, huh? The last thing I'm going to do um, is we are going to look into, um, well, I, I am sorry about that. I am putting just the tape in the back. Um, I am using here the score pile just because I have tons of it. Um, I know Stampin' Up! has something very similar and it really works well. Um, that's what I've, I've seen in the, in the videos. Um, but for now, I'm going to use what I already have. Um, and here I am taking the back of that and struggling there a little bit but got it done and here we go i think it just looks stinking adorable i really do so of course i'm looking at this card and thinking hmm it's missing right it's missing something a i did not plan where to put the sentiment and you'll see later on that it didn't really work well <laughs> um but it happens and so i probably am later going to change that i have not decided when i'm going to do that and this is what i was telling you before that i was going to use the red uh designer paper that you can see there in the back with the minty, the mints, but then I decided the red, and it was too much red, and I wanted some red and green. And so the dyes for the gingerbread um, and peppermint set uh, do cut these little mints, little swirls in this paper, and I think that's just adorable. Um, they have all sorts of them. So they have like individuals, they have some that you can, cut three of them at a time it's super useful so i just look at few of them gra grab a few and start figuring out where to put them um, of course tape with my post-it tape and um, i'll run in by <clears throat> the cutting machine here in a bit see see that one that has three i love it and it just brings you three different um circles and I, I just really love it again I, I am trying here to figure out how to save my beautiful paper because that's one of my addictions I think that's one of the reasons why I got into scrapbooking or um, any of these things I just love cutting I mean the papers and the colors and it, it just gets me so I am measuring some of the other dies I have here just to make sure I have um, enough enough decorations and in our card just to pop it up and I'm running them through the embossing machine or the cutting machine and I'll bring it back here in a second really really beautiful it looks it's just wonderful how it looks I'm just putting away my little um, circles, my little die cuts, because really I don't want to lose them. Um, and they're so little that definitely it's it's a plus we need to. And then I decided that I wanted something else extra. And um, the gingerbread and peppermint set, it does bring um, another 
little swirls and you'll see them that's the last one I put and I'm just here putting all the little elements I cut figure now what I want them and what will work best for you know like for what I like uh, and I think the uh, end the outcome was beautiful There you go. I really like that. I really like how it's looking coming up. So I decided, that's when I decided to bring that other stamp um, up. Which, of course, and I don't know if this happens to you, friends, but you know what's so funny? I, I lose my stuff all the time. It's kind of just super funny and that's where i put my sentiment and as you can tell it just does not work well <laughs> you can barely see it um if i would have thought about this a little more i should have um heat embossed it really and i would have looked at a really bright black um i put the little leaf behind the dog because i thought that looked beautiful and here's what i'm thinking ah uh, it needs something else these friends need something else so i got that stamp um, and that's what I was telling you guys here I am just looking for them and I'm like where did they go oh my god don't you just hate that it happens so often to me that I think it's just a crafting thing um, I did find it eventually <laughs> which is the good news <laughs> and I'm sorry about my head again I am just using a stamping up bright red here um, just making a little softer and there we go look at those and i really wanted to put them in the middle but i just it, there was not enough space for me to do it well and i, I keep trying you can tell i keep trying but it just does not work well and it's just so hilarious because i just wouldn't give in um but i decided that that was the end of it um like i was saying that didn't work well but here's my card let me know what you think thank you